Now, so this is Chekhov talking about Saturn's rings. He talks about Saturn's rings using magnetic interference to hide them. I'm not sure I understand. Let's listen. If we drop out of work behind one of Saturn's moons, say Titan, mm. the magnetic distortion from the planet's rings will make us invisible to Nero's sensors. So he's saying the planet's rings have magnetic distortion. But okay. I think if we aim telescopes at Saturn, we don't see any magnetic distortion from the rings. I think we can just look at so. the rings. You they're know, they're effectively look, just rocks. They're just rocks. Yeah. So is he saying that he would br they would bring the Enterprise behind the rings and literally just block so. the light? And then that's magnetic interference? Oh, I see what you're saying. So you're saying, it's a, so, <laughs> so Chekhov is like, if we position our ship in the shadow of Saturn's rings, that'll be magnetic. <laughs> like, it's not magnetic. <laughs> it's, just, it's just being in the shadow. But I mean, technically, because light is an electromagnetic wave, and the rock is blocking the light by diminishing the electromagnetic wave. It's essentially some kind of I mean, magnetic interference. I mean, this is really a stretch. <laughs> yeah, I mean, okay, okay, okay. So, so you're saying light is an electromagnetic radiation light wave. And so anything that messes with a light wave is magnetic. I mean, that means that right, my right? shirt is magnetic yeah, radiation because yeah. you yeah, can't yeah. see my skin. You, you can't see me because of magnetic interference. Like. That doesn't <laughs> yeah. So I wonder, I wonder if, but Chekhov is super smart. Yeah. So I wonder if he, he knows like magnetic interference is like the buzzword is like the right thing to say to get Kirk. Be like, oh, oh, oh yeah. Okay. Yeah. I don't understand that. So I'm going to trust you. That's right. And we're going to do that. And tactically, tactically mm -hmm. it's right. It worked. Right. Right. It worked. So that means Chekhov is able to like read the room and like drop the buzzword that needs to get his point across. That's advanced, like reading what, people. What an absolute <laughs> chat! What an, what an absolute hot oh, shot! Hot, yeah. Seventeen, damn. He's seventeen. In fact, he says it here. Ready, ready, yeah. ready. Yeah. I have to go. I have to go. Check out. What, what is it? I have projected that Nero will travel past Saturn. If we drop out of work behind one of Saturn's moons, the magnetic distortion from the planet's rings will make us invisible to Nero's sensors. We can beam aboard the enemy ship. Wait a minute, kid. How old are you? 17, sir. Oh, oh, good. He's 17. What an absolute hot shot. I mean, uh, I mean, he's 17, super young, like even Star Trek yeah. universe, super young. But like, he's right. 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 Yeah. So, OK, he's so he got the stuff. He's not only 17 and he's on the bridge, which is amazing in its own right. He's able to play the captain using like buzzwords and social games to get what he thinks is the right move implemented mm -hmm. so not only does he have the brains he's got the social skills he is top level mm -hmm. in cardio for days he like runs around the ship <laughs> that's right <laughs> he doesn't he doesn't miss a beat when it comes to his cardio training as well mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. should make him the captain i mean he gets captain eventually right eventually yeah he's 17. He's kind of young. I get it. Yeah. 